Hello! In this video, I am going to present the story and the analysis of Sonagi or The Shower, which is a Korean short story by Wang Sun-won in 1953. Wang Sun-won is one of the great Korean authors of the 20th century. He started writing in 1931, publishing his first poem, My Dream at the Age of 16. He released 104 short stories, 7 novels, and 1 novella. His famous short story in Korean literature is Sonagi or Shower in 1953. Like many of his other stories, it was written while he lived as a refugee with his family during the Korean War. Let me present the synopsis of the short story. The story begins as the protagonist boy watches the great-granddaughter of Mr. Yoon, who is sitting on a stepping stone in a stream playing with the water for several days on the way home from school. She is scooping up a handful of water, trying to see her reflection. Probably, she had never seen a stream like that in Seoul. Suddenly, she throws a pebble to the boy and runs along the reed beds. Starting the next day, he came down to the stream a little later. There was no trace of her. His feeling of loneliness grows and he started developing a habit of rubbing the pebble that was thrown at him. One day, it is the boy who is sitting on the stepping stone, hating and grabbing with both hands the reflection of his tanned face in the water until he sees the reflection of the girl in the water. He trips over a stepping stone. Embarrassed, he runs in the backwit fields with his nose bleeding as the backwit flowers break his nose trails. Saturday came. The boy crosses the stepping stones, ignoring the girl playing again in the stream until the girl asks him about the butterfly clump. When they reach the point where their paths divide, the girl asks if the boy has reached the end of the fields. Answering never, the girl incited him that they go there since she's bored in the countryside. The boy agrees, forgetting that he is supposed to help with the work at home. They take a path between two paddy fields. They pass the autumn harvest. They tug scarecrow's rope. They eat peppery white radishes. They reach the hill, big flowers. Then the girl scratches her knee from slipping. Worried, the boy sucks through his mouth the dripping blood on the girl's knee, making him uncomfortable afterwards. They played with a yellowish calf. A farmer appeared from the high grass and told them to go home fast because a shower is coming. Indeed, a dark cloud is rising over their heads. As they make their way downhill, big, cold raindrops fall on them. They seek shelter under an old shock. The girl's lips become blue. Her shoulders trembles. He wrapped his jacket round the girl's shoulders, who's still holding the flowers he gave her. The rain keeps pouring in the old shack's roof. The boy gets an idea creating a shelter free from raindrops out of the millet stalks where they stay until the shower stops. When the sunlight is already shining down dazzlingly, they emerge from among the millet stalks and find the flood in the ditch. The boy carried the girl on his back to cross the flood. After that, there was no sign of the girl in the stream, nor in the school. One day, the girl appears to tell him that she has been ill ever since she got a cold in the rain and that she is still not feeling any better. She also shows him the dress that she wore that day, stained by a red mud, which she believes 
came off the boy's back as he carried her. She gives him handful of berry-like fruits and said that after her family ancestral rites that day, they will vacate their house. In return, the boy sneaks into a walnut grove that same evening to give her some walnuts. As he returns at home and is lying on the bed, he overhears his father speaking to his mother that the Yun family's fortune has declined and that the girl has died. He also mentions that she must have been an extraordinary girl because she said she wanted to be buried in the same clothes she was wearing that day. To analyze the symbolism in Sonagi, first, Sonagi itself is a brief but heavy rain shower that starts suddenly, usually on a hot afternoon. In the story, the rain shower symbolizes the short but heart-rending love between the boy and the girl. Second, the peppery white radish representing the innocence of the two kids and the bitterness or tragedy of their love story. Third, the stained dress. The girl, having died, asked that her love be buried along with her, even though he's still alive. For many Koreans, it is the most representative story for portraying the sensibilities that are unique to Korean culture. In fact, all school children are raised with this story since it has been part of the required curriculum in their country for a long time. To analyze how Korea is represented in Sonagi, it is famous for its sad depiction of the Korean countryside and of innocent adolescent love. The scenes from this story is still nostalgia for many people. It also depicts fuck customs and showed great affection for sentiments native to Korea and the people's traditional spirit. It shows clear contrast between rural life against the difficulties of city life. And it was published during the Korean War and some aspects may be reflected in the story. Here are some facts and trivia about the short story. This classical Korean literature by Wang Sun Won was considered as timeless Korean classic by Koreans. It is studied in Korea as Western countries study Shakespeare. Due to its popularity, there have been many films and show adaptations of it, like the Korean classic film Sonagi in 1978, the romantic comedy My Sassy Girl in 2003. The Korean melodrama The Classic in 2003. The Korean drama Tropical Nights in December in 2004. And recently, its animated adaptation The Shower. Another trivia is that Wang Sun Wong rightfully got his own museum in 2019 which is called the Sunagi Village, located in Yangpyeong. For final analysis, the story depicts young love, symbolizing the brief, heartbreaking tale of the young couple. And other themes emerging are innocent adolescent love and the simplicity of true joy, nostalgia for lost innocence and the fragility of human life. As they say, love is unpredictable as well as death. So grab the chance to make memories. Grab the chance to love and to be loved. Thank you for listening.